Jenna with the Gianu system. So today I wanted to talk about acceptance and I've tried to make a video about it a couple times, but there are so many different points on the topic that I want to make that it's just going to have to be several different videos. Um, but today I want to talk about acceptance within the system. Um, So for me, when certain altars came out, it was very hard for me to accept them. Um, very hard for me to accept um, when I had my first opposite sex altar. It just freaked me out. I didn't know how to react to this. Um, and that one also happened to be gay, which also freaked me out because I didn't, I, I, I strayed and said to have, and my brain just exploded. I'll be honest, it was very hard for me to understand what to do with those thoughts or feelings and the memories of my altar. Um, and then more recently I've had trauma holders with memories that I didn't remember and with flashbacks that I didn't have and very hard to accept their memories, their experiences who they are. Um, also, a lot of systems have introjects. I am told that we probably have one too. There is an altar that the others have not let front because they say it is not safe for them to front yet. Also very hard to, to accept. Um, if you've watched my journey, Jen had a very hard time accepting E. Um, they are way of operating in the world was totally at odds with each other. Uh, Jen slash J was very concerned with safety and E would just go out and, and socialize with people and, and Jen was like, this is not okay. And then Jen also had trouble when Anthony came out because Anthony would put things uh, on that once again, set off the this is not safe bells for Jen. One thing that we all had to learn is that part of health was accepting each other right where we're at. I'm going to read a quote from Mr. Rogers. Um, it's actually two separate quotes, but they go together very well. He said, I don't think anyone can grow unless he's loved exactly as he is now. Knowing that we can be loved exactly as we are gives us all the very best opportunity for growing into the healthiest of people. And this was my experience. At one point, we just came to the place as a system where we decided, you know, we had a couple system rules in place. You don't hurt the body. You don't do anything, whether to the body or in our life that would affect the others. Uh, without asking and um, you respect the others like don't tell on them since you know another altar might know what one is thinking or planning uh, unless that there's good reason to so we had some some ground rules in place and came to the point where we're like okay when someone is in the front they get to be in the front yes there are things we need to do with our day we uh, do need to make food, we have a schedule, um, we keep lists all over the place. But within those parameters, you can do what you want. You can wear what you want. You can smell how you want. Um, live how you want to live. Whether everyone was exactly comfortable or not with that, so long as their actions were not like directly unsafe. So while Jen might think, well, this is unsafe, everyone can say, well, not, not really. Um, they got to be who they were completely and allowing that really allowed us to get to know one another better because there's no like in system fighting and suppression, just the expression of each part as they were. And we became a lot closer as a system and letting everyone be exactly who they were. We began to accept one another and came to a remarkable amount of healing just from that. Not even at the beginning liking each other, 
liking had nothing to do with it. Just accepting one another, you know, trying to see from another person's point of view. But even if you couldn't, just being like, okay, well, they're, they're going to do them. That was honestly one of our biggest steps early on toward healing as a system. And it continues to be, as new altars have come, then how we incorporate them into the system. Okay, welcome. Here are the basic rules. And within that, when you're in the front, you get to do what you want, wear what you want, express yourself how you want. And it's been really good. So I want to encourage everybody that as much as possible, accept your part, accept your altars. Every part of you is necessary in your survival. And while some parts may be unhealthy, they need to be loved as well to come to a place of health. At least that's what I found in my system. Um, as we were able to accept, we became able to love. And the system works just so beautifully together now. So uh, that's all for this one on acceptance. I have uh, more, I want to say, on different types of acceptance, but I wanted to start with inner system first. So uh, like and subscribe for more videos and uh, bye.